We're back again for another round of training in Microbellum Toolbox. In this next one, we're going to go back into a previous project and learn more about materials that are assigned to specific parts in a product. So let's get started. Here we are back in our shop grade cabinets project. Now this is going to be a quick video more on working with the different materials inside of our products. So in the last couple of videos, we've talked a lot about materials and material thicknesses. But now I want to go over more about understanding how to make sure you're picking the right material pointer name inside the material file. If I need to change the material for a specific part, what do I do? So we're going to dig a little bit deeper inside of our products now, and I want to show you how you can verify the material being used for each part inside of these products. You can see the different parts that are listed here, verifying the material name. And you do have the option to go in here locally and edit these part materials. And that's fine if you're wanting to just change the material for this one product. Otherwise, I would suggest going into the material file and making those changes there. That way, any tall cabinet or upper base inside of the project, all using the same material. So that's one way that you can see the material. The other way is by going into our part properties. This opens up the interface, showing you all the different parts and sub-assemblies inside of your products. Here we're selecting on our tall left finished end, and now if we select inside of the material name, there's this formula that appears below. If you're familiar with Excel, then some of these formulas that you see aren't going to be too intimidating. I know for me, I wasn't, so it took me a while to kind of wrap my head around all this stuff. But if you feel the same way, it's all good. You'll be a pro in no time. This is just an if statement that's currently looking to whether or not we have a finished end turned on. And if it is, then it's going to look to a specific type of material. Finished end material is a prompt. We would have to dig into it a little bit more and now open up our prompts tab. And this gives us a list of all the different prompts inside of this product. So just playing out the scenario, if I'm working on this job and I have a tall right finished end, I'm not sure exactly what I need to do to change in my material file. I'm going to start from this point here, look at the formula, and now find that prompt. Selecting that value, my product is a tall, so I'm going to look to a tall finished end. Before we finish this one up, I just want to go back into our material file quickly and this time showing it by groups. Let's select this group tall finished faces, edit groups, and there's our pointer group name, tall finished faces. These are the different pointer names inside of that group. And there's our tall finished end. So just a little bit more on pointer names, pointer groups, and making sure that you're selecting the correct material or your products. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in our next lesson of training.